nice little chat about how Steam input, Steam controller specifically, has ruined me forever to using standard controllers. So, thanks a lot, Valve. Really glad you canceled that controller. <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. All right. So, so this is going to be something a little different. I am in Mirror's Edge Catalyst. Freaking love the game. But what I wanted to talk about was this just kind of specifically how using Steam Controller over the years has really impacted the way I play games. Like just using Steam Input and specifically the Steam Controller. So I thought this would be a really good example. I did a video on this and it was roughly about six months after Steam Controller came out. So, you know, that was a whole different world. We didn't have a lot of the features that we have in Steam Input now. But more specifically, none of us were really used to using the Steam Controller. It was kind of a new thing. And this is a perfect example. So, I just loaded up my old config that I had for this game. This was the... Uh, Origin version, so I grabbed my Origin version config, and loaded it into the Steam version of the game because I just rebought the game because it was like two bucks for the winter sale, and I love this game. But anywho, so look at this. First off, oof, I have left stick movement. I have, oh, I'm using the bumper for jump. Left trigger to crouch. Full pull, so I was I was starting to embrace those full pulls. I got fighting, but really, it's using that bumper, using the left stick move. The left pad is, ugh, the left pad is like, ugh, I, I don't I don't like I can't even how do I close that? The left pad is just a giant D pad, no click, but no haptics. And eight-way overlap, what the heck? So yeah, doing this now, I would make this, if it's just D-pad inventory stuff, four-way, no overlap, high haptics, I'd probably up the dead zone a little bit. But I mean, I wouldn't do that, because I would be using left pad for movement. <laughs> so that's the first thing. No mode shifting. Um, this was one, t just specifically with this game, it was also one that was really difficult to get the controller feeling good. Like, even back then, I kind of knew. It's like something they did with the dead zones in the controller curves. So if you go all gamepad, it's really hard to get it feeling good. No mode shift click, thing on, the, click on this right pad. That's another thing. I would totally change that. So yeah, I just have this giant surface area on this entire pad. A single click for runner vision, which is like a secondary action. But this was something I specifically wanted to look at too. So you can see I have the sensitivity up, acceleration medium, like I'm I'm leaning into this trackpad. And then I have gyro sensitivity down, no acceleration. I had that smooth, well that was smoothing totally changed over the years through Steam Input. But regardless, I specifically wanted to mention that because that's been a total change that I've, over the years, have leaned less on this right pad and more on the gyro because the steam controller was the first controller I was using that had it was a, my my personal first experience with using a lot of gyro in what would be considered like a traditional controller I mean I was playing Wii games you know things like that but this was really the first time where I was embracing that gyro so with all that said I think that's probably enough talking about this specific config. Oh, also, no, I'm not done because I had this action layer to go into the map, which was making it all gamepad, but it would keep getting stuck because you would have to click tab to exit out of it. Like, okay, I go in here, I'm in this action set. But then if I do something where it's like not closing, like I would go like fast travel. Well, while it's doing this loading, I would have to hit select again. I'm pretty sure I even mentioned that in the video, which was like, what? How's that user-friendly? Because right now, ugh, I'm stuck in 
no gyro, joystick camera. So then it's like, uh, how do I get out of it? I press B. Oh geez, it just cycled back to the mouse layer now. I'm stuck. I press select again. Oh, I'm back in the gamepad. <laughs> so I have to press select, then start to close. Okay, now I'm back to my normal layer. Oh, I keep hitting that left pad too. See? <laughs> I, my my preferences have totally changed. So okay, just to give you a little tease, not a tease. I mean, this isn't a published config, but just to show you, like, okay. So I grabbed. First off, I did try to go all gamepad because I was just curious. Like, hey, could I do this now that I've been, you know, I've been learning a lot more tricks? Can I make it feel better? No, it, it's the game. It just It's their dead zones, regardless of the settings that I did for mouse like joystick. I could get it feeling decent, but not good enough. So I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna show that one. So then this, I just took that community config, my old one, and build it up a little bit. Not doing anything too crazy, but just to show you the differences, let's just hop back in the game. Oh, so much nicer. So I have Higher sensitivity on gyro. Soft trigger is a jump. Yeah, it's just a soft. Oop. Full pull is slide. So soft pull. Uh, is there a door around here? Yeah, soft pull. Bam, run through the door. Full pull is a, a kick, which was kind of a carryover from the older one, but I don't even think I need that because... Let's see, I put... Left, left click on le on right pad <laughs> is the disrupt. Pull, 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 suffle. Go into my map. This is a, a mouse auto action layer. Yeah, so I have the mouse. When cursor is shown, go to this menu one. When it's not, go back to default. That kind of solved the problems I was having in that other version, which I just... I, it was before I was really digging into this stuff. So I know I'm in this because it has a higher haptic on the gyro. But another thing is like for combat, that is up click, down click for kick, but up click hold is turbo. So you can just hi 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 hi. Uh oh. Let's get out of the way. that. Woohoo! Alright, so, but yeah, anywho, that's, I'm now I'm just playing the game, because it's a great game. But really, the point of this was just as a quick little demonstration to show you how much, how much using Steam Controller has kind of changed how I think about playing games with Steam Controller over the years. Like, I am very much just focusing on triggers and trackpads. Like putting the jump off of that bumper and onto the soft pull, and then keeping the slide on down action on a full pull feels great. And then on this right pad, you know, putting a, a turbo punch, kick on the bottom, my disruptor on the right. I haven't even put anything on the left yet. Middle is interact. So, you know, it's like I'm, I never have to take my thumb off that pad. So, yeah, that's, uh, I guess that's pretty much it. It's really all I wanted to talk about. It was mainly showing that switching from 
Switching from the stick to pad feels so much better and more natural to me now. Moving away from primary actions on the bumpers. Focusing on the dole stage triggers, which, oh, that's going to be a rough, rough thing to lose with the deck. I love me the my dole stage triggers. Yeah, and then the, the mode shift clicks on the pad. Where was that camp? Right there. There we go. It's a hold. Kind of forgot how to even do that. Yeah, and then... It's just a, a much more... Much more of a dependence on the gyro. I've noticed that when I load up old configs. that That's usually the first thing. If it's not the left stick, left pad for movement, it's that the gyro will be really low sensitivity because I was still getting comfortable with it. So yeah, that's uh, that's all I got. Nice little chat about how Steam input, Steam controller specifically, has ruined me forever to using standard controllers. So thanks a lot, Valve. Really glad you canceled that controller. <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. That's all I got. Please give us another Steam controller. Plump, juicy wieners are dipped in a thick, golden, southern-style corn batter that seals in all their freshness and flavor. If you like hot dogs, you love corn dogs. Everybody does. Try a corn dog with your favorite beverage. At the Refreshment Corner now. Corn dogs.